Hi everyone! So today I wanted to talk to you all about a Kat Von D lipstick that I got at my Sephora uh, run the other day. Uh, it's the Painted Love Line. Uh, I believe, yeah, Painted Love Lipstick. This one is called Backstage Bambi. And I just love the outside of the tube. It's just so pretty and even the top has a little design and you can see the color on the bottom, which I love because I like to store all of my lipsticks with the name sticking up. Um, this just makes my life easier um, because I bought two Kat Von D lipsticks during my run. I'll review the other one next. Um, but this one was just my absolute favorite. It's a bubblegum pink, pretty much. <laughs> um, I didn't think that this was going to work for me um, because I couldn't quite tell if this leaned too yellow or too blue. Um, honestly, if it had more yellow in it, then I knew that it would work for me. Um, I was I was afraid that it was going to be a little too blue, so then it'd be too cool, and then it'd be like bubble gum on my lips, which I don't like. <laughs> But I found out that this actually leans more yellow. So it's actually pretty flattering on olive skin. So I'm going to swatch it for you right here. And it goes on so nicely. And it's very vibrant. It's pigmented. It's opaque. Um, I'm going to put it on for you guys right now. But first I'm going to put on my primer because my lips are always incredibly dry. Um, what I'm using here is the Mary Kay Time Wise Lip Primer. It's actually really great. Uh, I kind of started using my MAC lip primer more um, and then I went back to this and I realized how awesome it actually is. So if you're looking for a lip primer, that's a good one. Um, but I'm going to put this on now. See that was just one swipe. And that's two. And it just glides on really nicely. And as you can see, it's actually, it doesn't clash with my skin tone. I feel like if it were too blue, it'd be like, what's on your lips? But this is just a kind of nice, kind of yellowish pink that I think would look really flattering on olive skin. I'm NC35 and I'm rocking it. I wore it to work. People gave me compliments on it. Um, so... I mean, I think it's a great color, so if you're looking for a cool pink, well, I guess yellow toned pink, but if you're looking for a nice pink to try, um, this is a good one. I actually really like it. Um, with the primer, I get, um, I got between four and six hours of wear because this isn't a long wearing lipstick necessarily, but I still feel like four to six hours is pretty darn good. Um, I don't know how it, it rocks without the primer, mostly because I'm always afraid to wear lipstick without a primer just because my lips are always so dry. <laughs> I need something to kind of make my lips ready for lipstick. So um, I can't speak on how it works without the primer, but if you use primer, I would say you'll get between four and six hours of wear. Um, four if you're eating in those hours, um, six if you're just rocking it for six hours. Um, so yeah, that's my review. Uh, the finish isn't matte. It's kind of, I would say it's kind of a satiny finish. Um, it's still got a little bit of a, um, what's the word? It doesn't glisten or anything. It's not weird that way. It's, um, it's, it's more of a satin is the best way to put it. Uh, so I, I like the finish. I think it's great. And, uh, yeah, that's my review for Kat Von D, uh, Painted Love Lipstick in Backstage Bambi. So one more, one more look and one more look at the lips. And one more look at the swatch. So there you have it guys. A really cool pink. Alright, so that's it guys. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, share, tell a friend, leave a comment if you have any questions or just want to tell me how awesome I am. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, seriously, I just reached 65 subscribers and I am ecstatic. I did not know that that many people would want to watch my videos, to be honest. So it's it feels pretty good. So it's making me want to make more videos. So hopefully I will continue to have awesome stuff and awesome things to review. And um, yeah, thanks everyone. Bye.